Their mindset made it to look ineffective. Now, God worked on us and expanded our understanding. And the same grace now is on us. And watch the potential of that anointing. Mind control systems. A territory can be under siege. Mindsets and strongholds. A mindset is a sustained thinking pattern. A mindset is a perspective. A mindset is a viewpoint. This is very important. Our beliefs in Africa need to be edited from the lens of scripture, not the lens of westernization, not the lens. Uh -uh, uh -uh. The coordinates of growth is scripture for a believer and that from a child, thou hast known the holy scripture, which is able to make you wise unto salvation. The boundary of our growth is limited to scripture. Because there is a way that cement right unto a man, the Bible says. But the end thereof are the ways of death. So we cannot randomly open up ourselves to just any information. No. Truth does not just bless until it is sequentially arranged. Truth is like a house. You don't put zinc after a foundation and call it house. Although zinc is required. The pattern of building is important. There is, listen. I, I, am I, am I... Uh, now watch this watch this watch this please let me have two gentlemen any two not the ministers not yes any two of you please come let's celebrate them please come stand you stand here you stand here watch this now this brother is born again and is under the influence and the mentorship of pastor a everybody please look up and this brother is born again and under the mentorship and influence of pastor b are we together now now this man is properly mentored and taught the ways of the kingdom and his christian experience comes as a report card that he's been properly trained this one is randomly trained in truth but not truth that is coordinated and his christian experience is full of gaps and situations that defy explanation now listen very very carefully there is something you should know about god before you are taught prosperity if you are not taught that and you are taught prosperity it will destroy you sit down there is something about god you must know it is not just any truth the truths have a sequence to build you well so if i get born again and my first message are we together this is what has been happening in africa just because it is truth does not mean it is a blessing uh -uh. that's why you must be guided the holy ghost comes to guide us oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. truth has killed many people they held on to it and it killed them this man has not been taught the reality of the victory of christ he's not been taught the attacks that influence brings he's not been taught that the cosmos has an adversary he's not been taught that every open door has an adversary he's not been trained teaching him about growth and influence will kill him he does not have the spiritual stamina to survive this Are you getting what I'm saying now? This man is now learning about prosperity, but he has not been taught death to the flesh. He's not been taught the lordship of Christ. And so his first one million dollars, the man is confused. Why? Because the old man is still alive. He's not been cultured to see that everything God gives you, you are a steward. He's not been taught that in this kingdom, owners are rebels. We don't own things in this kingdom. Mm -mm. Oh Sit down. Sit down, please. Ownership is proof of rebellion. In this kingdom, we are stewards. We don't own things. And moreover, it is required in stewards that a man be found faithful. So if God trusts me, with 10 million dollars a hundred million dollars the revelation of stewardship has fortified me from lost listen to me 
this is an apostolic conference and there are many things that we need to bring under divine order that was the goal of writing the first and second corinthians that all things be done decently and in order are we together now yes so imagine respectfully that this man now becomes a pastor of a church look at the the depth of deficiency that this man has now remember please i'm not i hope you understand the standpoint from which i'm coming i'm sent to the body and i love the body the goal is never to tear down no i don't destroy the body you will never hear me say any it is the body that i am part of the hallmark of the apostolic ministry is not just signs and wonders it is the ability to capture the speakings of the spirit within a season and to articulate it to a generation so that when men understand they will be able to run the speakings of god through his holy apostles and prophets are like ladders they are like a compass that can bring men back to the boundaries of his grace and power and wisdom this is what we are doing so this man is confused about so many things he's not sure of but now he finds himself as a pastor and he has to teach from the lens of his belief system now watch what will happen to the members because the members will be a reproduction of his mistakes and the mistakes will continue to multiply so you can literally without blinking your eye just look and see the imbalances scattered all over africa which are a product of the lack of the sequential arrangement of truth now you don't have to be fake to be in error you don't have to be fake to be wrong you just have to be imbalanced come he says and i will show you the lamb's wife and he showed me a city that was equal in length equal in breadth equal in height no exaggeration that's the lamb's wife anything that is outside of that coordinate is not the lamb's wife it is for this cause that he gave unto some apostles and prophets and evangelists and pastors and teachers right like carpenters to mature the saints so that the saints now being matured will do the work of the ministry If we do not correct this there is going to be trouble now remember respectfully speaking this guy suffered in his upbringing so don't blame him he's gone through hardship the first of ten children suffered labored himself why should he not believe in prosperity why should he not there is nothing wrong with it except that his emotional connection to his past and his pain has created a belief system that if not deconstructed and rearranged will be the emphasis of his teaching in ministry are we together it is not enough to have truth they must be arranged sequentially then everything that comes from god to us becomes profitable both to us there are people the worst thing that happened to them is that they became anointed because the background trainings and equippings that should sustain them and sustain the oil was not there and so when they were anointed it made them arrogant and impatient they would not honor people like our fathers like this and say we are all anointed it's not their fault they are not fake they are not wrong it's a deficiency of the balance the patterns a deviation from god's patterns There are people who teach that when we come to church, we only come to see God. You are right, but you are wrong. God sought for a man and remained helpless until a man came. How dare you think all we come to see is just God? If you say that as describing God's sovereignty, you are right. But you say that as describing kingdom advance, God is helplessly in love with men. He's limited himself that much. Without a man, he remains handicapped as though he were not God. He chose it. 
so he says what is man that thou art mindful of lord you would you would you would leave man because of his rebellion and turn back from heaven like a man pursuing a woman seeking her hand in marriage god is not ashamed to show his vulnerability towards man he will still come back i have loved you with an everlasting love and i have drawn you with my loving kindness the most important thing is god not men you are wrong you are right but you are wrong you can sit on a wheelchair for long although there are men but one man will come into that building and without raising any song people are standing from the wheelchair what was the difference remember god was there you invited him right from the beginning of the service so what changed not god a man 